my Adore, my 64, my Commodore 64. Gabba Gabba, hey there, and welcome to a Let's Type episode from the Commodore 64 Appreciation Society. This is a series where I reach back into the past and type out a program from an old computer magazine, and then when I finish typing it, I play it. This episode is a bit of a punk rock departure from the 64 games that I usually type in. I was browsing the Commodore 64 sub on Reddit yesterday and ran into this post. Does anyone remember what magazine published a music program by the Ramones back in the 1980s? I remember typing it in from the back of the magazine, but can't remember which magazine it was. Bonus points if you know the exact issue. Are you kidding me? I'm a huge Ramones fan. I've always loved their music and still listen to it all the time. Rock and Roll High School was one of my favorite movies growing up, and I was lucky enough to see them perform a couple of times. They're one of the founders of the punk rock movement and have influenced a huge number of bands. They're legends. So when I learned that Joey Ramone gave K-Power a song to use as a type-in program, I immediately dropped what I was doing and jumped all over it. This is the perfect intersection of two of my favorite things, and I couldn't wait to see the results. So hey, ho, let's go. Let's get into this. <laughs> this is quite the come down from the intro, but that's cool. It's time to start typing. Before this morning, I had never actually heard of K-Power. A bit of research told me that it was a short-lived magazine published by Scholastic, the company that publishes books, magazines, and other media for school-aged children. I remember them mostly for the book fairs they would host at my grade school and their Dynamite magazine, but I don't recall anything like this. The magazine was only around for a year. They published eight issues in 1984 before their content got incorporated into Family Computing Magazine, another title I had never heard of. K-Power had a small content section in Family Computing that was geared towards kids. They had game reviews, strategy guides, and some type-ins of games as well as music. That lasted until 1987 and the brand faded out. K-Power actually had a lot of music content, which was driven by Joey Latimer, a recording engineer, musician, and computer programmer. He was a founding contributor and editor for K-Power, and also published articles and programs in a wide variety of other magazines. And before that, he actually worked in the recording studio with a lot of great bands, including, you guessed it, the Ramones. At K-Power, Latimer created a computer music column, probably the first of its kind, that he called Microtones. Microtones published all kinds of type-in sound effects and music snippets, as well as full songs by bands like the Ramones, Steve Miller Band, and the Talking Heads. Who knew? I'll definitely be typing in some of those others as well. The background story to this program is pretty fun. The article mentions that in exchange for the song, they paid Joey Ramone in computer equipment instead of cash. They also mention that Joey wrote Slug for them, which isn't quite true. He actually recorded a demo of it a few years before in 1978. My guess is that Joey had the song sitting around doing nothing, got a call from K-Power, and thought that cashing it in for some computer gear seemed like a good idea. Hey, why not? The song has since been released, and the recorded version of Slug comes in at two and a half minutes. It's classic Ramones rock and roll. Joey Ramone called it a melodramatic, bittersweet love song, and that it reminded him of Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. He also said that it's a song the whole family can enjoy. Here's a little bit from the original so you can get an idea for yourself. Awesome, right? Obviously, the version that I'm typing out here is going to be considerably simpler. But who cares? Gimme gimme that Ramones treatment on my 64. I'm getting close to the end now, and this has been a fun one to type in. Obviously, lots of code related to playing sound, but the program also displays lyrics, so the timing for everything has been carefully orchestrated. The last 30 or so lines have all been data statements that contain the lyrics, music, and timing. As always, I really slow down and take my time during these sections. 
one wrong value or an extra comma or a missing comma will mess everything up. All right, done. Let's save it. It's a short program, 11 blocks on disk, or just under 3K. Okay, let's hear this song. I guess I wasn't getting through this without an error. This will hopefully be an easy fix. Huh, or maybe not. It's identical to the code in the magazine. This likely means that I goofed up something earlier in the program. I'm going to review the code. This was way more challenging than it should have been. I went through the code and found a few errors, including a couple that absolutely would have caused problems. I thought that would do it, but when I ran it again, I got the same error. I looked through future issues of K-Power for corrections, and there was nothing. So I went back to the drawing board, carefully going through each line, and I found the culprit. I completely skipped line 100, and line 100 is the one that actually reads the lyrics into memory. So this was clearly the problem. It's just one of those things that can sometimes happen when you're typing in programs. But it's fixed now, and we should be ready to go. Get those lighters in the air, folks. <laughs> that was awesome. I love the slug. It's obviously a lot simpler than the real song, and it's missing that Ramon's crunch, but the notes and melody are there, and I really love how the lyrics are presented. This would have been pretty innovative in 1984. It reminds me a lot of the Sid players that I used to play around with. What a fantastic little program, and also, what a cool way to introduce kids to music and programming at the same time. Joey Latimer did a terrific job with the code, and digging up a rare Ramones gem was so much fun. I hadn't heard of K-Power and Joey Latimer before this, and now I'm really looking forward to digging further into their archives. Also, Joey Ramone liked it. In a letter printed in the next issue, he said that he was very impressed with the results and loved that they did something unique with the song. He did say that the Atari version was his favorite, though, but we'll forgive him for that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. If you have any memories of the Ramones, typing in your own programs, K-Power, or any thoughts about this one, drop them in the comments. Hope to see you again.